House file number 1383, number two on the calendar for the day, printed page number 75, an act relating to motor vehicles. I call upon the author of the bill, from Carver, Representative Workman, to explain the bill. Well, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Members, this was the bill that I thought I was maybe going to do yesterday. Uh, this is uh, uh, commonly referred to by the biker community as the ape hanger bill. Uh, the ape hanger being the uh, handlebars on the motorcycle. Um, for years, we have had, a, and we still have, a, a statute that says you can have your handlebars only so high on a motorcycle. Uh, and uh, the, uh, the premise for that was that there was some sort of a safety concern on your bike. And, and truly, you could put your handlebars so high that uh, you wouldn't be able to ride the bike and not be safe. Uh, but really, seriously, who is going to do that? Uh, bikers have never been or had a more uh, safe record out there on the highway. And uh, the bikers have asked me to uh, help them to repeal the law. Uh, bikers feel the law really just right as a, another way for our law enforcers to pull them over and maybe ask them a few questions. So uh, bikers promise to remain safe. Uh, I don't think you'll see bizarre handlebar configurations out there. Uh, they just like to see a, a law that they say is really has no evidence that there is some sort of an issue or a problem out there uh, nationwide. Uh, they have done their search. And so I ask for your support and the support from the uh, biker community on this small measure. Copies are on your way out to the desk. So uh, while they're being distributed, Representative Kahn, would you explain this amendment? Uh, Mr. Speaker and members, uh, um, with this amendment, I hope to do partial penance for what I believe is the worst vote I ever cast in the legislature. And that was the vote that I cast, that I cast to repeal Minnesota's mandatory helmet law. This, um, uh, uh, this amendment with us just then, right now we only require riders of motorcycles under the age of 18 to um, wear helmets and this would reinstate it for the, um, uh, for those. Uh, now, did I need to move adoption of the amendment, Mr. Speaker? Or is that done? It's done. Okay, thanks. So this would then reinstate it. Um, I believe this is one of the most important road safety issues that we could deal with. It's also an important health care issue, and um, I would urge support of the uh, a yes vote on the amendment. Uh, Representative Fe Seifert, thank you for uh, getting the roll call. I'm sure uh, I didn't bring the, uh, the pre-election log of uh, the probably 90 years percent or so members who filled out the questionnaire for the Minnesota Motorcycle Riders Association and who said uh, they did not support replacing helmets on uh, on motorcyclists. Members, we've had motor or helmets off of motorcyclists for 25 years and the, uh, the injury rates have done nothing but go down. Uh, you have very active motorcyclists in your districts. Uh, they have done a great job of educating all of us on their issues and their safety record. I am not going to say anything more other than Representative Khan is there anything wrong with your amendment that I should have corrected the other day? Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Representative Khan, can you prove to me that by wearing a helmet it's going to save my life on a motorcycle? Representative Khan. Uh, Mr. S Mr. Speaker and members, there's very good evidence that shows that you're much less likely to suffer serious injury if you're wearing a helmet in almost any crash. Now, of course, the, the flip side to your question, Representative Finseth, is that what the helmet does is protect the brain. So the issue that you start with 
is that one has to have a brain worth protecting to, to begin with. And there has been an argument made, uh, there has been an argument made that, that it's in fact, a, if we only had, if we, if we would confine the riding of motorcycles to people before, of an age before they've had children, before they've had a chance to reproduce themselves, it would have a salutary Darwinian effect on the human race. But um, uh, aside from that, there's very good evidence Mr. Speaker. that shows, very good evidence that shows that it will Members, protect the brain. Uh, Representative Workman, for what reason do you uh, arise? Uh, I'll, I'll phrase it the way I did uh, yesterday, Mr. Speaker. I'm not going to stand here while Representative Khan makes the kind of comments about a group of people in this state that are responsible adults, they're doctors, they're legislators, they're all of us. Uh, uh, I would ask Representative Khan if she could refrain from uh, uh, broad brushing uh, all bikers into a, a bad light, Mr. Speaker. Representative Khan, uh, I really, uh, you know, most of the time we stand up and we say I appreciate your comments, but I really don't. Um, your, your argument is that you know, the brain is the first to, to be damaged in this situation. Uh, have you ever been in a motorcycle accident? You're asking her to yield? She yields. Yes. Representative Kahn. Uh Mr. Speaker, Representative Finseth, yes. Actually, it wasn't a motorcycle. It was a moped, and it actually happened right in front of the um, state office building, and I was very glad that I was wearing a helmet. I got nothing more than a scraped knee. Okay. Representative Vincent. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Representative Khan, I'm not sure if a moped in front of the state office building constitutes a real motorcycle accident, but I'll grant you that. Um, I was in a motorcycle accident, a pretty serious one. And if you were to read the report of that accident, you'd find out that they said if I was wearing a helmet, I'd probably be dead. Now, you might be accusing me of having brain damage in your initial comments, but I think uh, a life was at stake there. If I had been wearing one, I might not be here today. Members, this is a personal choice issue, and it's a serious one, and I think you ought to vote this amendment down. Representative Workman. Well, Mr. Speaker, uh, this is a simple motorcycle handlebar bill. We had this debate a long time ago. It's over. It's dead. Uh, you know, I do wear a helmet uh, often. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I wear a seatbelt, and sometimes I don't. But boy, I'll tell you what, we're sure getting into the business of uh, telling people uh, what to do. You know, I'm criticized by people because I'm pro-life and not pro-choice. But I'm hearing a lot of pro-choice people whom this helmet law doesn't affect tell other people to put a helmet on. They don't want to. They've told you that. They don't want to. Nothing, nothing in the law says when you get on a motorcycle, you don't have to wear a helmet. You can wear a helmet. It's a personal choice. And if they don't want to wear one that day, they won't. Not going to get sand in their eyes. We have laws. You have to wear eye protection. So, members, little handlebar bill, not a helmet bill. We don't want to go down that road. <laughs>